in with our poblano peppers. We've got our red, yellow, green, and orange bell peppers. Now I've got some chorizo sausage, and I'm just gonna start cutting this into smaller pieces. Some Rotel. I got another can of Rotel here. All right. We're also going to use some tomato sauce to give this some moisture. Now I've got some black kitchen gloves. I'm just going to get these put on here. All right. We're going to start incorporating all of this. We want to make sure those peppers, that chorizo, our meat, our rice are all mixing in here. This is going to create a really delicious dish. It's going to be able to feed a lot of people. We are working with some great ingredients here. Oh, you know what, Marty? I forgot something. What'd you forget? I'm going to add in some taco seasoning, y'all, for this ground beef. How's that look, Marty? One more pass. Oh, yeah, there, we there we go. Okay. We're going to give this a lot of flavor. Just mixing this all up, breaking up that meat, incorporating it, mixing it in with our rice. Ooh, look at this. This is gonna have so much texture, flavor, deliciousness with this rice, this beef, our chorizo sausage, our different kinds of peppers that we have in here, including, you know, our poblano peppers, our, our bell peppers. I forgot another thing, Marty. Oh I yeah. Just realized. Don't forget that. Oh my god. Y'all, I was so excited to meet this. I am just jumping the gun here. That's okay. I'm gonna start getting this pre-mixed. And the more mixing, the better. So that's all right. We're gonna we can come in with multiple passes of this. I'm gonna add in our next ingredient in just a second here. Oh yeah, this is looking really good. It's fun to do this. This is a great thing to make with kids. They love to put these gloves on and just dig in here. It's really a sensory experience. I'm a big fan of this myself. I find it very therapeutic and relaxing. We got our onions. I like the combination of fresh ingredients and obviously rice is cost effective. The ground beef is a 93.7, so it is a lean. So we're not worried about the the fat from it cooking out into our meal here because, because it's just gonna work itself out. It's not too much. These are jalapenos. These are jalapenos, everyone. And if you don't like spice, you could totally leave this out. You could leave this out of one section if that's your preference. I'm putting ours throughout because we like spice around here, but don't feel obligated to spice this up. You can absolutely customize this to your family's taste, to your personal taste. If you're making this for church, if you're making this for you know, a group where you're not sure everyone likes spice, then you can leave them out. Alrighty y'all, we finished mixing this up. As you can see, I made some finger holes in here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some beef broth because this rice is gonna need liquid to cook. Just gonna pour this all around here, getting that in there well. We'll let some of that seep down. It's gonna drain down to the bottom there. All right, so far we're using two. These are our first two. We did do a little mix in between to get some of that liquid down. Just kind of mixing this all around because then you can see this liquid's going down, it's going into the rice, it's going down into our dish here. It's not just staying on top because we need this liquid to cook that rice. And I'm using beef broth, we're using beef meat, we're using chorizo, we're using taco seasoning. Like this is gonna have an amazing, amazing flavor. It's gonna be so tasty.
right, we've got our bean. Towers intact. And now we're ready to put this into the oven. We're gonna cook this at 375 for one hour. Alrighty, y'all, we ended up cooking this for two hours in the oven to make sure that rice was done. And we're ready to show you the final product. Look at how beautiful that is. We've got our Mexican dirty rice here with our bean tower. We did add a little bit more moisture periodically every about 30 minutes or so. We added a little bit more broth as it was evaporating off. You can see how fluffy this rice has come out. All right, we're just gonna fix this up with a few more things. I've got my Fiesta blend, old trusty standby. Beautiful. Just like a taco, I'm gonna put my rice right on top of that lettuce. Marty was trying to tell me that the lettuce, the cheese goes on top of the lettuce, but I just don't believe that. So I don't know, weigh in everybody. All right, I got a little bit of paste picante here, just right down the middle. We got some squeezed guacamole salsa. We're gonna put this, oh, look how beautiful that's looking. Look how beautiful. And if you're really feeling fancy, Finish it off with a dollop of Daisy sour cream. Beautiful. Look at this. Can you imagine anything better? Alrighty, I'm coming in with my plate here. I'm coming in with my ladle. I'm gonna get all the good stuff out of here. Big helping of this onto my plate. Big helping of the toppings on top of my portion. And now you might be wondering, our bean towers, this is for people to get a scoop of beans to have on the side there, just like that. This is the best meal ever, y'all. It's the best way to feed a big group, a church group, neighborhood, everything. All right, cheers, everybody. Mmm. 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 This is so easy, y'all. It's really good. I highly recommend you try our dirty rice Mexican style with bean towers. You gotta try it.